Our guest today is the great thought leader from India, Mr. Nandan Nilikani, who founded Infosys and is now overseeing a hugely ambitious project to give every Indian a unique identity. Uh, Nandan, welcome. Thank to you, Melbourne. Melbourne. Thank you. And uh, my first question really is, uh, you've talked often about how technology can transform. Do you want to expand uh, on how you actually think technology can change things? Sure, sure. I think I think the big thing that's happening in technology is that it's becoming more ubiquitous, more inexpensive, and therefore the, to the reach of every person. And, and suddenly we can put the world's knowledge at everybody's in their hands, in their devices. So I think the the democratization of information, the democratization of knowledge, the level playing field you're creating, I think that's hugely relevant. And uh, I believe that it's a huge uh, driver, especially in developing countries, to rapidly transform uh, you know societies and just make everything more accessible. I know that the New York Times columnist uh, Tom Friedman borrowed the title of his book, The World is Flat, from your... Well, we had a conversation yeah. and I was explaining to him what was happening. This is way back in, you know, 10 years back, in 2004. And uh, that, I guess, sparked off the whole thing which led to his best-selling book, The World is Flat. And how do you think that technology is transforming lives in India today? Well, you know, I think what's happening today, we are in a world where uh, the, the, the cloud has infinite capacity for storing all kinds of information. Uh, connectivity is becoming ubiquitous and broadband. And everybody has some device in their hand, which is a mobile phone or a smartphone, which is very powerful. So when you put all this together, uh, suddenly you can think about improving education, improving healthcare, uh, improving public service delivery. And you can do that at scale, scale and speed, because you have to reach a billion people very quickly. So I think that's how I see it uh, happening, that this platform, which is now becoming pervasive, uh, can actually provide access to information, knowledge, and capabilities that you never had before in the history of the world. But on the one hand, you have this democratization where everyone has access to knowledge. On the other hand, you also have companies becoming much, much more possessive about patents, about intellectual property rights. Even in the pharmaceutical industry, we know that the, the cures to cancer sure. and HIV could become more accessible if pharmaceutical companies could. Well, I think there's always a, a tension between letting companies uh, uh, patent their ideas or trademark or copyright their ideas because they have made investments in, in developing those ideas and they want to get economic return from that. But I think that's really, when you look at the whole body of global knowledge, I think the bulk of it is actually in, in the public domain. And therefore, I think while there, there will be some, some things which will come under a more proprietary regime, the bulk of knowledge is really out there, is, is public. And even if that knowledge is made much more accessible, much more consumable to, to the world's people, you've got a huge uh, payoff from that. And could you talk a little about your project to give every Indian a unique identity? Yeah, our project actually in some sense exemplifies this, uh, what we talked about, because our goal is to give 1.1 or 1.2 billion Indians a unique ID. But what's important is that it's a digital ID. It's, it's not just a paper-based ID or, or a card. It's really an ID on the cloud, ID which is online. And because it's an online ID, it, it opens up new possibilities. You can verify somebody's identity before they access a service, or you can use that to send money to them, or there are a whole host of applications around this ID. And uh, we, because we use uh, the very sophisticated technology, we're able to do it at speed. Uh, today, we are issuing 1 million new uh, ADA numbers a day. We issued 450 million other numbers in three years. Last month alone, we issued 25 million in September. So I, I think all this is possible because of technology. You couldn't have done this in any other world. And what do you think are the personal challenges before you? I mean, you've overcome huge challenges, uh, become this hugely successful entrepreneur, great thought leader, public servant. What is the next big challenge for you? Well, you know, I, I, my what excites me is uh, how you can make change happen in a society and how we can leverage technology to bring change at scale. So anything that allows me to do that will keep me going. And how have you found Melbourne? The, the well, Melbourne is a really exciting place. I've had some fantastic conversations. I'm looking forward to the remaining time I'm here. Thank you very much, Ranul. Thank you. Thank you.